Hey everyone, Aaron Doughton here, product manager at Sencor. I've uh, got another product release video for the DMG 7000, so I want to talk a little bit about that and what we've added to the platform. Um, so we have been hard at work uh, being able to add the wrist protocol into the DMG 7000. And if you don't know exactly what the wrist protocol is, feel free to go back uh, <laughs> in our YouTube library and actually check out uh, what wrist is and what's uh, available in that protocol. Um, but we've been, like I said, hard at work uh, continuing to expand and keep up with uh, that protocol and add features as they've been uh, finalized by the VSF, the Video Services Forum. Um, but two very important features that we've added is link bonding and seamless switching or hitless switching, SMPTE 2022-7, however you want to, um, whatever you want to call that technology. Um, but these are two very, very powerful features that really take, um, you know, internet-based uh, transport kind of to that, to that next level. Um, instead of just doing you know, simple point-to-point -point, uh, type transmission, what we're able to do now is actually either combine uh, multiple unmanaged network feeds and combine them into a single bigger pipe. Um, what that means is if you're doing, uh, for instance, like live camera feeds from a live event, um, you're using cellular connections to actually get that video from you know, the, the point of that content being uh, recorded all the way back to your head end. A lot of times uh, cellular connections, like multiple cellular connections are used for either redundancy or to increase the amount of bandwidth um, that's actually available to uh, transport that video content. So with link bonding, we're able to use, say, uh, let's say, you know, cellular company A, <laughs> cellular company B, um, you know, two different modems for, for, that, uh, for those services, combine them into one singular pipe, and that gives us you know, more bandwidth to have higher quality video. Uh, maybe we can add a little bit more packet retransmission overhead so that we can uh, you know, increase the, uh, the reliability of getting to the other end. Or we could actually use both of those pipes simultaneously and do hitless switching. So we would actually do a full transmission on both uh, pipes. And that way, the uh, receiving point then has two full, uh, I guess, full bandwidth versions of that stream that it can switch between. So if you have packet loss on one and you don't have packet loss on another, you're obviously receiving from one side. And your receiver can kind of build a nice, clean output stream on the reception side. Um, so a combination of these technologies can um, really add a lot of flexibility. To, to doing transport over the internet. Um, you know, even if this is like a, a WAN or um, you know, cellular connections or a hybrid satellite and internet uh, type application where your primary feed's actually going over satellite and then if you have any kind of um, weather type issues or something like that, the actual internet back channel can actually do your packet, uh, packet correction on the other side. So very interesting applications that you can get into and some cool things to um, just increase reliability, you know, kind of get to that five nines. Um, of reliability that I think the industry expects with, um, with a lot of technologies. So anyway, we've got those things added to the DMG 7000 now. Um, this, uh, this new feature actually includes a lot of other smaller improvements and stuff like that. I won't go into too much detail uh, here, um, but feel free to you know, reach out to me, Aaron Doughton, the product manager for the DMG 7000, or our, uh, our sales guys at sales at And uh, if you want to learn more about, like I said, the risk protocol or some of our other products, uh, check out our YouTube channel um, or go to www.sencore.com. All the links to the videos are there as well. So until next time, thanks a lot, everyone. Bye.